Hello everybody, it's Matt. Welcome to Collaboration Coach. In this video, we're gonna look at the new background effects in Microsoft Teams. Before we get started, please hit the subscribe button and remember to tap the bell to get notified when our new videos come out, because we don't want you to miss anything. This new feature in Teams Meetings gives you the ability to add images to your background. This is in addition to the blur effect you can already use. These new backgrounds are not currently available on mobile devices, but blur background is coming to iOS very soon. So to add a background, when you're about to join the team meeting and before you hit the join now button, just toggle the effects button here. The background settings pane will pop out on the right hand side where you can choose to have no background at the top here or blur to the right. And then beneath you can scroll through all the available background images. At the moment, you can only use the images that Microsoft offers, but soon you'll be able to add your own custom images from this pane. There is also a hack where you can upload your own images now before this feature is added. And I'll put a link in the description that explains how to do that. When you select an image, you can immediately check what it looks like. And then when you're happy, you can hit the join now button. If you join your meeting and then decided to select a background, you can hover over the meeting window and then from the toolbar, choose the ellipsis and then choose background effects. This opens up the backgrounds pane and you can choose your background in the same way, but you've also got a preview button down here where you can check it out first. No one else in the meeting sees your background until you press apply. In May, Microsoft will add the ability to upload your own images and also allow administrators to use policies to control how everyone can use this feature. So this might affect whether this is available to you at all or what images you're able to choose depending on what your organization's policy is. So that's it for now. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for more tutorials. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.